This is the Euro Aussie on the 15 and we have a flag pattern set up where I can play for extended targets. I'm just going to go ahead here and do the higher time frame analysis before I draw out the pattern. So here on the dailies, we've been very, very bullish here for the last few days. Um, no real structure level. This entire level here, this area should I say is just consolidation. And what I'm really paying attention to is the fact that we have just been rallying. Uh, we're not over overbought as yet. And there's no definitive structure level here on the dailies other than this higher level right up here. So not too much on the dailies. On the 240, you can see that yesterday we had a very big bullish candle. And then we were starting to consolidate sideways. This is a sign for me where I should drop down to the lower time frames and have a look for a breakout pattern. Now, let's just look where uh, what actually happened. We can actually see structure better here. So we violated this level, this level, this level, and this level. Now, We've got some key levels here. What I'm just going to do though is just move this down to the closes of the candles. You can see we have come into a psychological number 15900 flat. And if we look left for structure, well, we've got this uh, level here. Didn't quite close at that zone, but nevertheless, it's within that region. We've got a lovely wicked candle here. We've got structure here double test we've got a lovely wick here we've got resistance resistance big resistance a little bit of support here and resistance there as well and the last bit which I was paying attention to was this we've got one two three tests and don't forget this was actually on the closes of the candles the wicks actually came down to about something like that so we've certainly got an area here that's been respected many many times so let's now drop down in fact before we drop down let's have a look what room there is to go to potential targets so if we put a stretch level on we know that we could come up to potentially retest our highs but I would be looking for an extension and as a minimum I would say this area just here let me just bring on the orders. My targets are a bit higher than that. Now, this is only a minor level of structure. If we go higher, I would be looking at this level just here. And again, if I bring back on the orders, it comes in before that structure level. So let's drop to the 60 then and look at the pattern itself so for me this pattern is on the 15 but you can see it here on the 60 so um, whenever we see a directional candle like this um, and it isn't a sore thumb move I always take the pattern from the start of the large candle so directional move for the pole and we draw this out on the closes of the candles we go ahead here and duplicate it and then move it down on the closes of the candles and you can make a case here for four touches one two three four if I'm completely honest it's not it's not defined enough for me so I'm going to drop down to the 15 and it's not the prettiest here's pattern this but it is valid so again, from the start of the rally, as our pole, we draw this out on the closes of the candles. Just make sure I've got this correct. Uh, you do want it correct because otherwise, when you duplicate this and move it down, you're not going to know where structure is. So if I duplicate that, move it down to the closes of the candles, just like that, then you can now see we've got one, two, three. This could be a touch, but this certainly is. There's four and there's another touch down there. Now we already know that we've come into a nice level of support because we on the 240 because we have that psychological number 15900. 
but look at what we're actually doing here if I'm just going to go ahead here and highlight from the low of this wick across you'll actually see that we've had one two three tests in this zone and for me that's a sign that this could be the double or the triple bottom before the breakout so I'm looking at this at being the turning point we know we've got structure we've got a triple bottom um, we didn't go oversold but we do have divergence um, looking like this we got down to 22 but we do have divergence a sign here that we could be seeing a reversal and I'm hoping that we're going to get a break above close above just here uh, the other thing I need is I need this to come into a minimum of a 38.2 fib well we've come into a 50% fib and I'm just going to put a structure level on here on the 15 and just have a look for structure well there's a little bit there isn't a great deal to be honest with you but I'm looking at this triple bottom as being the turning point uh, because we do have room to go higher and we do have a lot of uh, momentum in the actual pole and the fact that we're not retracing very deep we've only retraced to around 50% then I'm looking at playing for that 127 fib so just just to confirm that we've got lots and lots of buying pressure here and typically when we see the breakout here we tend to see it just similar to this but with a little bit less force um, we're not retracing very deeply it means the bears can't push us down a great deal so that's another sign and we do have room to go higher as well so everything there indicating that we could be going higher so this is just a one in one out playing for that 127 and those targets then bring back on the orders I've gone just an ATR below the low here below this triple test um, I've actually gone an ATR below it using the 60 minutes so it was 15 pips below the low uh, the ATR here is only six that's why so in terms of risk looking at 28 pips and in terms of reward looking at 95 uh, up at this 127 fib we are at the psychological number one six thousand i'm just going to make sure that my fibs on correctly here yep yeah. okay and i'm actually front running by six pips so we have uh, almost a four to one reward to risk here i'll set an alert and see if we can get those targets and we're back on the euro Aussie and as you can see now I have been stopped out uh, we actually came down for another test here so that was five tests in total before we broke down and it was just unable to break to the upside so out there for minus 28 